Hello and welcome to episode 106 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. At least I think it's 106. Well, I'm gonna go back and record it now. I've been to Unreal Fest Gold Coast, which was super nice. Had a lot of fun and bumped into some people that are into modeling and game development, of course. It was uh, fun, learned a little bit about Unreal Engine. It's gonna be fun to dive a little bit further into that as well. So I'm gonna just uh, enjoy a few uh, vistas here at the Gold Coast. It's been absolutely nice. This is uh, a superb winter. I couldn't actually ask for anything else. Got the ocean, we've got some skyscrapers, feels super weird, but uh, that's it. So, heading back and uh, let's get started with the video for real now. <laughs> Last week I missed an episode because I was out having a cold. Well, I was in, but I was having a cold, so I couldn't do one. I sounded awful. And this week, I nearly have another excuse because I pulled my back, but I guess I can still sit at the computer now. For a couple of days, I couldn't. And then I went to Unreal Fest Gold Coast, which was really fun. I started to have a little peek of Unreal, and I also met some cool people. So thanks for saying hello to me, the guys that recognized me. Amazing that anyone did. <laughs> I was happy about that. So thank you for saying hello. You know who you are. I appreciate it. And it was a bit of a struggle to go there because my back was so sore so every time I had to stand up after a speaking session I had to like pretend I was needing to look at my phone or something because I looked like I just couldn't move but I, I stuck it out I managed to go there and I uh, took a few painkillers and then uh, I think I'm pretty good now so back in my computer seat now finally and I'm gonna be joining the discord server challenge again so thanks again to Arvid who's running the weekly modeling challenge in the Infensia discord server huge thumbs up to you I appreciate it and for anyone who wants to do the modeling join in on that challenge and uh, do some modeling there's a different theme every week and this week funny enough the theme is school and I don't know why it's a school theme because everything is like in Sweden it's a summer vacation now and even here in Australia it's winter vacation it's starting tomorrow so I guess it's a bit of a goodbye theme to school maybe so I was thinking to join in on that theme anyway so I'm gonna be modeling probably I'll, I'll model an actual school this time and I don't know how that's gonna go it's been a while since I went to school but I think uh, I'm gonna remember a little bit of uh, what uh, maybe in the Simpsons the Springfield school I won't make a copy but I'll be inspired of that I can't remember how many windows it is or necessarily what color it is but I just remember that it's a center block and two wings with some windows or something some bushes or whatever so I'm going to be joining in on the challenge and I'll be modeling that. So let's just get started. And uh, I'm going to sit uh, a little bit strangely now since uh, I'm uh, like I'm a de in a decapitated. I nearly say I'm not decapitated. I'm incapacitated. That's the word I was looking for. So let's get started. Let's do some modeling. Ready? Steady? Go. Oh, and we're off. Yay. Tab into edit mode. Shift space G to get that little gizmo. A to select everything. S scale. Shift Z. 20. Like make it bigger. Let's make a patch here to do it. So control R, loop cut. And then control R. We'll do a pathway here as well. I slightly remember that there's like a path into the Springfield school. Control R and we'll put maybe to there. And then I'll just color this green, I guess. And we've got our grass somewhere maybe like that. And then I'll do the school here, shift D to duplicate that face, scale, scale again, scale on the X axis, Oop, scale X, maybe like this, and let's put it there. Yep. Yeah. And uh, E to extrude, we'll make it that high, control R, loop cut, we'll do the wings here. It's not going to be an airplane, but it's the wings of the school, and I think uh, I'll actually extrude these out as well, Alt E if I remember, it has a bit of an indentation, or is it the other way? I can't remember. <laughs> So we'll do that anyway, and then we'll E to extrude the center part there, and that should be our school building, I think. It's done. No, 8 minutes 54. Uh, G, let's do some sort of a tan color for, I can't remember either, but it's like a skin tone or orange. That looks weird, but never mind. Let's do it. Maybe a darker, like a gray roof or something. And I should probably do the same color here. And G on the left side there. That's it. And we'll do some steps or stairs. Uh, control R for loop cut, control R for loop cut there, and I think usually three is the magic number. So E to extrude, shift E to extrude, and shift E to extrude. And I can't remember what it looks like here, but let's do it. There's a door anyway to get in. This looks like it's way too uh, small actually. Or the stairs are too big or something. Scale, let's do scale X. Oh, what's happening here? I don't know what's going on. Uh, never mind. It's going to be a, a big stairs then, apparently. Control R, let's put some side things, some side burns on it. Mr. Burns. Ooh. 
It's been years since I watched The Simpsons, actually. Not that I don't like it. I think it's amazing, actually. Control plus, uh, go for a, I don't know, gray color or something. I should have had a reference. <laughs> I can't remember what it looks like. Control R, let's do I to inset. Scale X, scale Z, and maybe like that. Here's gonna be the door. I to inset, and actually I'll do two doors. I think it was two doors. I to inset, I to inset again, and usually I always do windows like with a cyan color. Let's hope that's what it is. And red doors, I think. Oh, I'm trying to remember now. There we go, red doors, and I should have indented this whole thing, shouldn't I? Control plus, can I still do it? E to extrude, yeah, I can do. All right, so now we'll put some windows on. Control R, maybe four windows, or is it three? I don't know. <laughs> should be the same amount. Actually, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the mirror modifier on, so I only have to do one side. Auto mirror, that's it. Save ourselves some time. So, I to inset. Uh, scale shift Z and E to extrude and let's make like blue windows again and I don't know if it's windows up here as well Ooh, okay That's it. it's got some window sills and stuff I think so let's move that out to there and then I think are these purple blue purple dark blue purple I think yeah. and then control R loop cut scale X Control R, loop cut, get some interior. Oh, that's too wide. Scale X, E to extrude. Control R, Control R. Some vague memories here. Alt E, extrude, and I don't know. Scale X, E to extrude. Alt, is it like the length? How much am I, how am I doing for time? Uh, 5.52, half, how can it go so fast when it's like, I don't know. L to select the length, L, L, shift D. Scale X and then we'll do shift R to duplicate that. I've got some windows there and they probably have windows up here But I have no idea how many control R should we put four up here as well Control R loop cut control R loop cut and this is probably all wrong Scale Z E to extrude. It feels like it should be some arches or something with it being a school. But I can't remember Ooh. L to select the link L L link link Oop. I should have not done something that exists. I should have just done some random school instead. because <laughs> Or a makeup school. Makeup school. Okay, so I'm actually doing something stupid now because I moved it into the center split. That doesn't work. Scale, this is going to cause problems, isn't it? Because I'm not going to be able to scale this into position. And then maybe that'll do. That'll do. My favorite way to say things. Oh, okay, it's going to look all right from a distance. Shift D and then X. That's it. And should we do, maybe I'll just dress it up somehow with some, like, I don't know, we'll do, how am I doing? 441, okay, let's do, I think I'm gonna do shift, well, I don't know, shift D, duplicate that one. I think, feels like I should put some, like, feature on the ceiling here anyway. I to inset, E to extrude. Sorry for all Simpsons fan, this is not gonna be correct, sorry. I apologize in advance. Scale, X, uh, but I did say that it was going to be inspired. It's not going to be a, a, an accurate copy of it. B to get boundary in the middle. Okay, that didn't work because I got uh, individual. B, E to extrude and then put some, I think I had some fan thing at the top here, some feature. Ah, how am I doing? Four minutes to go. E to extrude, control R maybe, E to extrude, control R. I have no idea. It was, they need some ventilation or something. L and gray. Okay, a door handle, whatever color that is, I don't know, scale, E to extrude, I think you need two door handles, let's make them black, I've got no idea what color they are, or if they even had door handles, but I think they did. But we need to put some uh, bushes here as well, so I'll do shift, okay, I, sh I should also, it feels like I should have something around here as well, scale, Z, alt D, extrude long face, normals, and I've got an itchy nose now for some reason. And then I itched my lip instead of the nose. Smart. Smart move. So scale zero on the left. And I have no idea if there is even such a feature. But let's put it in. That's it. And then I'm going to put some vegetation here. I think that'll sell it. That's going to do the trick. Uh, that's all I'm going to have time for. So scale, scale X. We'll do the normal. We'll right click to subdivide. And then I'm going to go back here. Loop tools and do circle, scale. 
And I'll just do some, uh, like, I don't know. Is it bushes or trees? I can't remember. Let's do a combo of the two. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Control R maybe, scale. I have no idea, this is stupid. Okay, next time look at references first, but then I, I can blame it on something now. Scale, L select link, let's do a different green on them, scale them down, and then just copy these, shall we? Well, I should make them, I've got two minutes to go, that's not a lot of time. Uh, I'll just jumble them up a little bit so they're not so regular. I could probably do L to select link, and then do F3, randomize, uh, and you can do some sliders here as well. Okay, that makes no sense, never mind. That was a stupid idea. I don't have time for noise modifiers and stuff, so I'll just do Alt, select the link, Shift D, scale it down, and I'll just spam some out here. <laughs> Shift D. There's faster ways to do this with arrays and stuff. It's not going to be faster, but the end result would be a lot better. So Shift D, duplicate, scale, Shift D, duplicate, scale, Shift D, duplicate, scale, Shift D, duplicate, scale. I'll just. The more I can fit in, I think the better, because it'll just look like I. You can't spot the mistakes then, I guess. L, Shift D, move it. Scale, scale, scale and Z, maybe make them a little bit. Scale, Shift Z, some narrow ones. Shift D, duplicate. Every school needs a clock, I guess. So put a clock here as well. I, I should put that maybe. I'll have to do it. I've got mirror modifier on. This is actually going to be a problem. So Shift D, I'll do two clocks. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll do L. Alt select link P by selection. Got a new object now, and I need to get rid of the middle modifier. This is actually stressful now. There we go. And let's we'll stick the clock here. Uh, we'll do right click, subdivide, circle, scale it down, move it in, E to extrude, Alt select the link, Y clock. Okay, if I can hit the 41 seconds, I need a clock. I need a clock. Uh, that's it. And then I'll just indent it and do E to extrude. All right, that makes no sense. So I should have put some probably like dials on it, but I won't, well, I have time for a dial, right? Shift D, scale X. It's gonna be desperate dial. Alt select, ah, oh, G. I've got 12 seconds for a small dial. Shift D, what time is it? What time is it? Rotate Z, no, X, Y. That's it, put the dial in place. What time is it? Two o'clock, nearly time to finish school. And the time's up. <laughs> anyway, there you go. It's a 10 minute school inspired by uh, Simpsons that I hadn't watched in years. But I think what I got right is that the fact that there was two wings, I have no idea if it was more windows, fewer windows. I think the colors are right. I think it's some sort of a, like a tan color or something. And I think it's red doors. I think, I have no idea if it's a clock, but it feels like it should be a clock on a school. I think there are bushes in front, and I think that there are uh, purple uh, things on the... This is all I remember, nothing else. I remember the intro, I watched that many times. Anyway, give a thumbs up if you liked the video, or if you hated the school, or if you hate school in general. And subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone, and bye for now.